In a division problem, the dividend tells us how much we have and the divisor tells us how we're going to group and share it. How can we determine which numbers can be divided by 6 without any remainders? Well, if a number is divisible by 6, then it's also divisible by 2 or 3. Numbers that are divisible by 2 are even numbers, meaning they end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is also divisible by 3. Well, let's test this out using the problem 12 divided by 6. You can see that if we take our 12 items and split them into 6 groups, we can put 2 items into each group with no remainders. So 12 divided by 6 gives us 2. Let's look more closely at the 12, which is our dividend. It should be divisible by 2 and divisible by 3. At the end of the 12 in the 1's place is a 2, so it's an even number, which tells us it's divisible by 2. If we add together its digits, 1 plus 2 gives us 3, which tells us it's divisible by 3. So yes, 12 is divisible by 6, like we see from our model. Now we'll test out dividing 15 by 6. Here we can start arranging our items so that we have the same number of our dividend put into each group of our divisor. When we do, we can see that we still have two items in each group, but now we have three items left over. There's not enough to put one of these items into each of these groups. So 15 divided by 6 gives us two remainder three. If we look at 15 more closely, we can see that it's an odd number, which tells us it's not divisible by two because it ends in a five. However, if we add together the sum of its digits, 1 plus 5 gives us 6, and 6 is divisible by 3. But in order to divide by 6, it has to meet both of those rules. Since it's only divisible by 3, it's not going to be divisible by 6 without having a remainder. We can also use this to check to see if large values are divisible by 6. If 612 is divisible by 6, that means it will be divisible by both 2 and 3. Well, let's start by checking with the 2. 612 ends in 2, which is an even number, so that tells me it's going to be divisible by 2. If 612 is divisible by 3, that means the sum of its digits is going to be divisible by 3. So we would need to add together 6 plus 1 plus 2. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3. So since 612 is divisible by 2 and 3, we can predict it's going to be divisible by 6 with no remainders. 6 goes into 6 one time. Subtract out my 6. There's 0. Bring down my 1. 6 doesn't go into 1, so we put our 0 up in our quotient, and we can keep dividing. 1. Bring down my 2. 6 goes into 12 twice, and when we subtract that, we see we have no remainders. So 612 divided by 6 is 102. Well, let's try that again, this time using 593 divided by 6. 593 ends in a 3. 3 is odd, so that tells us it's not going to be divisible by 2. Now let's check to see if it's going to be divisible by 3. I need to add together the digits 5, 9, and 3. When I do, 5 plus 9 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. 17 isn't divisible by 3, so this means when I divide 593 by 6, I should have a remainder. 6 doesn't go into 5, but 6 does go into 59 9 times. 9 times 6 is 54. Subtract that. I have a 5. Bring down my 3. 6 goes into 53 8 times. 6 times 8 is 48, so 53 minus 48 leaves me with 5. So sure enough, when I try to divide 593 by 6, I get 98 with a remainder of 5.